today we are going to continue thinking about Judaism and we're going to focus on our work on synagogues. We're going to even venture inside a synagogue. Last week we looked at some different synagogues around the world. Can you remember this synagogue from St. Petersburg in Russia? What does it look like? What do you notice? Can you remember this synagogue from Budapest? What do you notice about this one? How is it similar? And what do you notice about this synagogue from Prague? What has this one got in common? And what do you notice about this synagogue from London? These synagogues may be in different countries. They may have some slight differences, but there are lots of things they will all have in common, both on the outside and on the inside. Did you notice they all had the towers or pillars? Did you notice the windows they all had in common? Let's move inside a synagogue. Let's see if we can spot which really important features they have in common. The Torah scrolls are scrolls that contain the words of the Hebrew Bible. Memorial boards are boards full of nameplates. Each nameplate remembers somebody who has died. The eternal light hangs above the ark. It is always burning to remind everyone that God is always with them. The ark is a really important cupboard. In this important cupboard, the Torah scrolls are kept. The Bimar is a raised platform where most of the service takes place. The Torah readings happen on the Bimar. The Siddur is the main prayer book for the Jewish people. All of these features are very important within a Jewish synagogue and they will all have their own special place. So why do people go to a synagogue? Jewish people don't only go to a synagogue to worship, but they also go to study, to study the Jewish religion. Synagogues are a place to offer a centre of community. It allows people to come together and share ideas. A synagogue is a house of prayer. It also offers a place to meet the rabbi who leads the services. It is essential that Jewish people show respect within the synagogue. During the service, everyone, except women who aren't married, must wear a special hat called a kippah. This is a way of showing respect to God. Adult men also wear a prayer shawl for morning prayer. It has special fringes along the edge to remind the man to follow God's way. In Orthodox synagogues, men and women sit separately as a sign of respect. Once the ark is open, nobody must enter or leave the room as a sign of respect. If you follow this link, which can be found in your planning, you can take a virtual tour inside a synagogue. Let's have a look at some pictures. This is the view from the balcony. You can see at the front some of the features that we've looked at. Can you see the beamer? This is just another view to give you another idea. Can you notice the windows we talked about when we looked on the outside? What can you see here? Can you notice the eternal light? Here's another view. What do you notice? Here's another view. Let's look up. This is looking forward. What can you notice? And this is looking back. You can spend more time exploring the synagogue yourself. Enjoy!